mother and wife, a mother grizzly of sorts, a personal friend, and an incredible advocate for education, choice, and competition. A member of the Oregon Tea Party's Executive Council, a co-host of mine, I'm Jane Carroll's KUIK 1360's Conservative Council every Tuesday from 5 to 6, that's a plug. She is the blonde momshell of Oregon politics. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage from Freedom Works, Oregon's own, Christina Ravalli. <laughs> Holy cow, I do all that? <laughs> Just a joke. Thank you all for coming out today. I'm here today on behalf of my family and my children. And I see these five beautiful children standing here with their signs that say, we are not a piggy bank. And my debt today is $45,979.25. This is what we're fighting for. The very livelihood of future generations is at stake because of the overreaching federal government and the mounds and mounds of debt that we are piling on generations unborn. This is why we're here today. We are planting our flag in the progressive stronghold of Portland and we are saying we are reclaiming liberty. We get up at the crack of dawn to read, to advocate, to call our legislators, to show up at the Capitol, to find out ways that we can be involved with our government. And that is the least we can do. And I am here today to ask every single mother, it is time that you get involved with the education battle at hand in the state of Oregon. We are 43rd in the nation in quality outcomes. We have tens of thousands of children stuck in Portland public schools and Oregon public schools that are going uneducated. And not for lack of resources, but for lack of political will in this state to say no to the OEA. To say no to the teachers unions. We are here because we believe that children come first. We are here because we believe that the education system is about educating our children, not providing cushy retirements for administrators. We are here today to say that my child is not your piggy bank. I love my country and I love my family. But as of today, it is the government that I am terribly ashamed of. It is not okay for us to continue with status quo in this state. It is not okay for you and I to sit on the couch and expect somebody else to do the work. You move today from I should to I will. You find an organization, whether it's Americans for Prosperity, whether it is Freedom Works, which I am so blessed to be a part of, whether it is your local Republican Party, whether it's advocating for education in this state, you stand your ground and you tell them that you have had enough. This is the battle of our lives, you guys. This is for the very future for our children. And these people out here, they can wave their flags, they can call us whatever you want. But I was a simple mother who got involved because I saw my child struggling in an education system that cared more about keeping him trapped than giving us choice, than giving us opportunity, and for giving my son the right to an education. You want to see somebody get involved, you try to take something away from my child.
This is where we are today. Plant your flag. Don't you ever give up. These Every time I speak in one of these, the crowds get bigger and the Americans are more resolute. This is our country. This is our future. We are reclaiming liberty today. Are you all with me? God bless you guys. I love every one of you. Keep it up. We're doing something because you know what? I'm going to end with this. Two years ago, they said we didn't exist. And I'm going to give you this from, from Mahatma Gandhi. First they ignore you, then they mock you, then they fight you, then you win. We're winning, folks. We're winning. God bless you.